But what yep. do you think it means for James Robinson with ETN out for the season? <laughs> so James Robinson was running back seven last year. He was being drafted in like, I don't know, round six, round seven, depending on how you were mocking it out. Travis Etienne was actually going before James Robinson. We had previously talked about how James Robinson was going to be the running back and uh, James, uh, sorry, and Travis Etienne was going to be the receiving back and kind of just discounting out of hand that James Robinson was not able to catch the ball. Should be a friendly reminder, 49 catches last year on 60 targets for 344 yards. It's not like he can't do it. And again, that was his rookie season in the NFL. He clearly knows pass protections. He had to do it all last year when they were just getting destroyed in games. Is this another guy that is now a high-end RB2, low-end RB1? He already proved that he can be an RB1 last year as a rookie. I, I think this helps LaVisca Chenault, uh, who's going to be ta- catching more of those bubble screens than ever with Travis Etienne not playing. So I, I just think that this is another guy. And, and we posted on Twitter, too, in a, in a poll, like, hey, where are you taking James Robinson? Round, it was round three or four or five, right? Yeah. And, and it was like even votes for all three areas. Nobody knows where to take him now. So him, him and Gus Edwards all of a sudden become the two, well, who's going to pull the trigger on him early sort of thing. And I think you can justifiably pull the trigger on him early as well because he's all they have. There's nobody else. You almost say that like maybe he's a mediocre running back. I think James Robinson is good. I agree. Like, yeah, I think I he is. I think he's a good running back. He was fifth in evaded tackles last season with almost 80. He was fifth in yards created at the running back position with more than 800 yards. Like the guy is a great running back. His catch rate of more than 80% was eighth at the running back position. He ran, he ran the 13th most routes of running backs with more than 250 routes. Like the guy is, he's the guy it's, he's going to be a running back one again. And yeah, where he's probably. going, where he's going is still a huge value, even if that's at, I mean, I would think most rounds or most drafts, he probably should go in the third, maybe the fourth at, yeah, at the beginning as one of the first picks. But either way, that is huge value for what could be a running back one. Yeah. So I love me some James Everybody Robinson. want to talk when they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. It's just a bunch of gibberish and blah, 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 blah. they forgot about James. <laughs> Like, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Alex is also wrapping this episode, guys. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I Pete, like, I, I, I didn't get it before ETN got hurt, and now that he is hurt, people just were like, "Oh, it's James Robinson, whatever." He's just James Robinson, and he is. He was good before ETN got hurt, and he's still going to be good after ETN got hurt. And now he's in a better offense with a better quarterback. He's RB7 last year. Like high-end RB2 floor, fantastic. Another, you know, second, third, fourth round running back that you can get with super high upside. The more of those you can get, the better off you are. That offense is going to be so much better this year with Trevor Lawrence. The guy already threw, he threw another two touchdowns in their, in their preseason finale. Like, the guy has looked the part every single game. The offense is going to be better. He's going to be the goal line back. He's going to be the red zone back. He's going to be the first down back, second down, third. Like, he's going to be the back. Get or you the back. Get you some James Robinson, please. Thank you. Don't forget about him. <laughs> 